Moderna has started testing its COVID-19 vaccine on young children. Patients between six months and less than 12 will receive the shot, and the company intends to enroll nearly 6,800 children in Canada and the U.S. in this trial. The study will look at the safety and effectiveness of two doses when given 28 days apart. Joining us tonight is Dr. Dina Kulik, a kids' health expert and founder of Kid Crew, along with parenting expert Maureen Dennis. Thank you both very much for your time tonight. Dr. Kulik, the Moderna vaccine has already been authorized here in Canada for people 18 and older. Uh, now that we're seeing these trials with children, when do you think we could see approvals for kids? It will likely be a number of months. First, they have to do the studies and they'll be looking over a period of one year about how safe and effective the vaccines are. So it will be a bit of time, probably looking at maybe winter next year or even later before we know that it's safe, effective, and can roll it out with enough vaccines that we know we can get all these kids vaccinated. It's already posing a problem getting adults vaccinated. Mm -hmm. Do you have any concerns, Dr. Kulik, about the idea of children under 18 getting a shot? Not at all. If the studies are done and it shows that they're effective and they're safe, just like all vaccines we give, we will be making sure with Health Canada that they are safe to give to kids and that they help them prevent the illness. Uh, Maureen, some people might be wondering if we're here too soon. What are you hearing from parents and what do you think uh, families are going to be talking about tonight? I think that is the first initial reaction where um, we haven't quite got everybody who is in those vulnerable age groups vaccinated uh, to begin with. So I think that we would really like to see that happen. And then, as um, Dr. Dina said, that we want to see that these vaccinations are safe and have been tested for the kids before we talk about um, getting into that with children. And Maureen, of course, Moderna is looking to enroll children in the trial. You've got four children aged 9 through 17. How do you think parents are feeling about the vaccine right now? You know, it's a tough one because we really want to get back to normal. We want to get our kids back out into activities. We want them to be able to hang out with grandparents and friends and, you know, have that normal lifestyle again. It's been really difficult. Um, but we also want to make sure that we do it safely. And that's going to take some time, unfortunately. So we're going to have to wait and we're going to have to do it, you know, in the proper process so that the kids can have a safe vaccination when it's the right time. And Dr. Kulik, Moderna is also testing the vaccine in adolescents, so 12 and 18 years old. Is there a difference in those age groups or in how we're going to see the vaccine administered or the monitoring of these children? Potentially. So this study is looking at kids from six months to age one, giving three different doses to see which is the appropriate dose for that age group. And then kids that are two all the way to almost 12 years of age, again, looking at two different doses to see if they're effective. And there's studies with the Moderna and Pfizer and Johnson & Johnson looking at 12 years plus to see what is the safest dose, what's the most effective dose, and how long do we get immunity for? And, you know, the same levels as with adults or less or more. Is it safer? Is it less safe? Is it effective, as effective, less effective? We'll see. Dr. Kulik, what is your sense on how keen parents are to get their children vaccinated, or is this really a wait and see, and like you said, we'll wait and see what, what the results of the studies are first? Parents seem to be very eager. I'm asked every day in the office several times a day when the vaccine will exist, will we give the vaccine, how quickly will this roll out? I'm asked about it very frequently. Maureen, what about uh, blended families or co-parenting? I can imagine what the pandemic must have been like for the last year uh, for families in those situations. What do you think it's going to be like when you're talking about vaccines? Well, hopefully you've had this conversation already and you're sort of on the same page as far as, you know, vaccinating your children or not as to what your family um, has made the decision on. Um, and hopefully this follows into that same pattern. I think with this one, um, the conversation may come up because children are, you know, it's very uncommon for children to get it and be hospitalized or have it cause death. So, you know, I think that there might be that um, uncertainty as to whether they want to do this particular uh, vaccination for their children. So it's, it's definitely going to be a conversation that parents need to start having with each other um, because it's not going to be a simple one. It's definitely going to need to have some thought and some research done behind it before you make that decision. And Dr. Kulik, does that come up in your practice very much, whether a family is blended, co-parented or otherwise, the idea that perhaps mom wants it one way and dad wants it the other way? Absolutely. I think with all parenting decisions, when there's two parents here making decisions, they have to come to an agreement together. And that's true for parents that are together, that are separate, 
obviously we have to, as much as we can, get on the same page as other caregivers in our lives. And I think with more evidence, with more research, we'll have more to offer families in terms of science so they can make real educated decisions together. All right. This is fascinating conversations. Thank you both very much for joining us tonight on CP24 Tonight. You're welcome. Stay healthy. Okay.